Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm going to show you how to add decorative lines on each side of your heading, or maybe you just want to put them on one side, the left or the right. It's basically just lines that are equally spaced on each side of you know your H1s or H2s or H3s, anything like that. And you can have different styles. I'm going to show you a couple different demos and examples. Let's get started. I'm really excited about this. All right, so let's have some fun styling divvy here. Um, we're gonna add these headlines, um, the lines, and I think this is a great way to add some uniqueness and style to divvy. And I wanna do more style related tutorials. So definitely let me know what you wanna see next as far as, I don't know, something related to design and style with divvy and not just you know tricks and hacks and functionality or whatever, um, but more um, something to do with like Something that's not essential like this, if that makes sense. All right, so we're going to be jumping right into it. If you're on YouTube, definitely you're going to need to have this blog post open for the CSS snippets, and you can find the link in the description. Uh, we're going to customize this, but first of all, we're going to just get started in our example layout. We're going to add a CSS class to our text module. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here. Um, it's PA heading line both. And that's just the way that we're targeting our text module. Here I have one set up. I happen to have this as a H2, a heading two. And so what I'm gonna do in this text module, I'll go to the advanced tab, custom, or yeah, CSS ID and classes toggle. And right here where it says CSS class, paste that in there. All right, and so now what we're gonna do is go get the CSS snippet that will target just this text module. Um, you'll notice that we have the text centered and um, that's because we want the line on both sides in this example, right? So then back over here, go ahead and grab the CSS. I have some instructions here on where to put it. Um, we have this full guide right here, but also if you're using a child theme or our free child theme, you can put it in the style.css file Otherwise, put it in the Divi theme options. All right, so back here in my live example, going down here to the gear icon there in the page settings, advanced tab, custom CSS. I'm going to paste in my CSS here. So right away, you'll notice that the lines appear. That's great. You can see that in my CSS, we're targeting that same exact thing, the PA heading line both. And then you'll notice the H2. That's because this is an H2. We're targeting that now if you wanted to you know use an h1 h3 whatever um you could change that you could literally change it or you could add on to it like let's say you had you wanted the same line for your h1s also here's what you would do you could go ahead and copy it and then add a comma and then paste it again and then like change one like there to h1 there there we'd be targeting anywhere where you had this class anywhere there was an H1 and H2. So that'd be one way you could could do that and add multiple um, heading lines. They're the same, the same style of line to multiple headings, put it that way. All right, so right here you can see we're centering the text. So even if you don't have it centered, it's going to center it because it needs to be centered. All right, then this next section here of code is uh, two pseudo classes that are making the line. And this is where the most of the functionality of the line and this customization comes from. So it's a before and after pseudo class, before on this side, after on the right side. And so we're saying content and blank. We're not saying any content. We don't want content. We just want it to be a blank spot. But then we're saying the color of that blank spot down here is 666666, okay? Um, go ahead and change that. Whatever color you want that to be. Um, I could literally change that to to anything I could even say you know red you know something like that I can say blue I can add a hex color um, there you go there's your line color now if you want it thicker I could go up here the, the border top is the thickness I could say out of one there make it 12 there you go now I have really thick lines um, yeah it's really just whatever you want to do really thick ones there huh um, one pixel, two pixels, you know. So there you go, you can customize that. Also the spacing, now a note on the spacing, you can see the margin here. 
So let's say I wanted to adjust the space between this line and the text. Let's say instead of 20 pixels, I wanted that to be 50. There, you can see it added more space. And you might say, well, why not the other side? It's just the way it works. You gotta come down here. Notice that 20, change that to 50. And there you go. We've adjusted that spacing. That was the one with you know the lines on each side centered. Let's go back and do the same exact thing for the second one. And we're calling this one PA heading line right. It's going to be very, very similar. We are just going to go into this module and go to the advanced tab again. All right, put it in there and save that. Then go back and grab the CSS for it. And this is a little bit different, but essentially the same idea. Remember the last time we were using um, what, what you were calling a before and after pseudo class? Before on this side, after on this side. We're only, we're only doing it on the right side, so we only need the after pseudo class. And so I'll just override this so we don't get confused. There you go. And like I was saying, it's just the after. You can see it right there. And, and the same thing, It's I had the same demo content put in here, that same gray color, same spacing and all that. So yeah, go ahead and feel free to adjust this. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this. I think it's like a, a neat little accent that you can add, really add some nice design style to your headlines. And it's going to, like I said, it's going to go the whole way across the sides. Um, like, let's say, actually, that's a good point. What if I showed you in here, if I change this column structure to this one here, see, it's, it's going to the edge of the module. All right. And I could put something else over here. Um, and so I think it's just really neat how it's, it's kind of responsive or whatever you want to call it. And there you go. Just enjoy using this, um, both of these and customizing it, of course, and making it work for you. And especially changing, you know, like I said, the H1s, H2s, um, you can change, you can have a different color for each one, different thickness, you know what I mean? Just uh, basically change that in the code. Be sure to check out all the different ways you can customize that, you know, the thickness, the color, things like that. Be sure that you're subscribed here. We're gonna keep producing more and more Divi tutorials and lots of good content and freebies and courses and things like that. So don't miss out. We'll see you in the next video.